Hi, Kion here again. Uh, this is a response video to Buddha Gems video called Liberals. Uh, hi, Buddha Gem, uh, or Buddha Gem as you pronounce it. Uh, hope you're good. I've been watching your videos for quite a few years and watching Mr. Thousand and One Nights as well. Uh, great stuff from you guys. Um, I've also been involved in this Paracon uh, stuff, Michael Albert stuff. I think you filmed him a few years ago and might have been instrumental in me getting into his his stuff um, okay uh, yeah in your video you talked about um, you're making two sort of points one you were saying that uh, someone in the Occupy movement was complaining about people calling the US government a terrorist organization and the other point you made, which I think you've made in the past, is stuff to do with um, basically w you don't want to see the Occupy movement engaging in sort of electoral politics. Um, I think you, in a previous video, you talked about, but you explicitly said you shouldn't, people shouldn't vote. Um, I, I'm assuming that's still your position. Um, okay, so I'm going to debate with you on these points. Uh, but don't take what I'm saying to be like an attack. I mean, I'm, I'm generally, I'm in massive solidarity with you. I mean, I'm in, involved in this. As I said, it's Michael Albert's ideas and uh, this group called IOPS. I don't know if you've heard about that. Um, which Michael Albert's involved with. Um, I'm also, uh, yeah, I'm, erratic, I'm in, into direct democracy. So I think you can look. 24 videos ago I counted uh, I did this video about direct democracy so I, I don't believe in having politicians ideally and also if you look early you might be interested in I did this series called strict equality I've got my own kind of political utopian scheme uh, which you might be interested in if you've got to spare like I think an hour and a half of videos I did on that um, subject um, so yeah basically uh, well if you if, let me take the the point about the terrorist thing first. I mean, I I think that uh, I think I, I don't know how to define uh, terrorism exactly, but I'd probably go with something like targeting civilians on a reasonably large scale. Um, and yeah, I'd say the U.S. government has targeted enough civilians over the recent years to say that it, it's it engage it is terrorist or engages in terrorism. Uh, also the UK government the same um, but uh, my only sort of complaint about saying it's a calling the US government a terrorist organization is is that that might give the impression that terrorism is like the main thing it does or something uh, which you would be overstating things um, I mean like if someone really didn't know what the US government was and you said to them oh the US government's a terrorist organization they might go away with the idea that it's like something like the IRA or something where the main thing it, it's there for is is to do a terrorist campaign I'm sure I don't think it does I mean the main thing the US government does uh, love it or hate it is a kind of rule the rule the USA um, uh, so but yeah, I mean, in terms of mincing your words, I don't, I don't quite get why anybody would want to, um, if they really believe the U.S. is a, a terrorist organization. I think, I mean, I'd, I'd say they are, they engage in terrorism for sure. Um, I don't, I don't know why you'd want to mince your words. I mean, whether you're standing, if you're standing in Parliament, or standing for the Congress or whatever, uh, or a president, uh, presidency, whatever, um, you, you. Um, you want to stand up and say like um, that it is a terrorist organization. I want to say that it's um, or the the current. You want to say the current president or whatever is engaging in terrorism. Um, I mean, our uh, I don't know how they. I think they talk like that. The radical parties, kind of Ralph Nader and people, they do talk like that. I think in the U.S. Uh, and certainly over here, uh, our Green. I'm involved in the Green Party in the in the U.K. and our Green Party leader called for Tony Blair's arrest or called for his trial or whatever for war crimes and, and that's, that's what we're there for in these radical parties uh, so um, anyway so um, 
I mean, the reason I think we should we should vote. I mean, it's not ideal. It's obviously a compromise, as I said. I mean, to direct democracy, but um, I think the, our current democracy is a massive step forward from no democracy, and I think it's a reasonable step in stone towards better things. Um, I mean, picture two two scenarios. So, uh, two two possibilities. I mean, one 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 possibility: uh, people go along with your idea and they decide not to vote. Uh, see, that becomes really popular. That idea and. Half the people in the next election in the U.S., most of the radicals of the, all the radicals, and lo those even vaguely progressive people, would go, oh yeah, okay, that that not voting's right. Let's not engage in this, this corrupt process. Um, then, uh, okay, half the people don't vote. So what's going to happen? Basically, the probably the Republicans will win, um, or if you're very lucky, the Democrats will win. Uh, certainly, radical parties won't win. Um, I, I'd, I'd exp yeah. Um, and the new president will just totally ignore the wishes of those people. So the president will be nothing to do with, um, nothing to do with the the, the the wishes of these people who didn't vote. Um, okay, picture an alternative scenario. Um, sorry, someone's starting up a motorbike out there. Um, Alternative scenario, people do what I say and they vote green, let's say. Um, half the people vote green, we're going to get a green president. Or, or at least a green party doing really well this time and maybe winning next time or something. I mean, um, we'll have a government which isn't a terrorist organization. You'll have a government in the US which isn't terrorist, an end to these walls and stuff, selling weapons. And wouldn't it be much better that I mean that would be a much bigger step forward now that you've got alternative plans for campaigning but we can still do all those things we can still be anarchist or whatever I'm not an anarchist but you can still you can still do your ignore the government and uh, just because you voted these people in doesn't mean that they, you've agreed to as an unlimited sort of um, control of your life by them. I mean, you've just, all you've done is you, you're faced with this difficult choice so you, and you, you sort of pick the least worst option. Um, you can still, you can still uh, demand more radical things and, and do, and just get out there and do, make the world more radical and take, take your money out of the banks and put them in whatever, credit unions or whatever and do all these other things. You, just because you went out and voted one day, it really doesn't, or, or, stu or just stood in, I mean, there's a reasonably small effort it takes to stand in, in an election. It doesn't mean you uh, can't do the other more radical things. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I think voting is a better idea uh, at this at this point. Anyway, I um, hope you find that interesting, and uh, talk to you all soon. All the best.